It is the holiday season and we're all shopping a little bit online. It has exploded this year and it's becoming more essential for us to outsmart those package thieves that might be watching your doorstep. Hard to do. A recent national study says that 210 million packages just disappeared from porches in the last 12 months. People, of course, are shopping online a bit more and choosing delivery options to their front door a little bit more than ever. Hector Mejia joining us live. Hector, you found out, too, uh, if these people get caught, they can face some stiff penalties. That is true, and we're also learning these thefts are going up. According to security website SafeWise, package thefts went up 36% from 2020, and these crimes often go unreported to police. They happen year-round, even if you have security measures in place. That recent study by SafeWise also revealed more than 53% reported having multiple packages stolen in the last 12 months. Three out of four have fallen victim at some point in their life. Also, the package thieves, the packages thieves target most are in this order. First, Amazon, followed by FedEx packages, U.S. Postal Service, and UPS. One local home and business security tech company says sometimes it's not only the package thieves who you need to worry about. One of the companies that is a delivery company, one of their drivers picked the bike up, put it in his truck, and drove off. So... You never know. You never know. And that's why it's, it's, it's always good to have the cameras. There are other ways you can protect yourself. You can sign up for a tracking alert so you know the second your precious items arrive. Have your items shipped to work, a locker, or choose in-store pickup. And we also talked with Metro Police about the penalties. For example, if you're caught stealing something small like this MAC makeup, that's considered a misdemeanor. But if the item is worth $1,200 or more, like this, Mac, like this MacBook Air, that's considered a felony, and that could land you in state prison. Reporting live, Hector Mejia, live, local now.